Okay guys, welcome to my Radeon RX 6800 XT overclocking guide. Now what you want to do first is go to AMD's website and download your latest drivers. So just type in AMD drivers, go here, click on the first link, and then you want to find your graphics card, the 6000 series, 6800 series, 6800 XT, click submit. And I'll ask you like something right here. I don't know what it's doing right now, but click out of that. Windows 10. Um, you can click the optional or the recommended. I usually go with optional. Um, I've had uh, good success with these latest drivers from AMD. They've been very stable and solid for me. Now, once you have that downloaded, go ahead and install it. It'll ins also install the graphics driver for you as well. And then once you get that done, right click in your desktop. Go here where it says AD AMD Radeon software. Now that you're here, you want to go to settings. You want to make sure you have eSports selected. So it'll say quick setup to click eSports. And then go here, make sure anti lag is enabled. Um, Radeon Boost, um, some, I think DX12, or not DX12, but some DX11 games support this. Not many right now so don't even worry about that um right down image sharpening you can turn on to your preference i usually keep it around 80 percent all right now display if you have a free sync monitor it'll give you the option to check that i don't um i play on a gc monitor unfortunately but for testing purposes go ahead and click that if you have it um, keep everything here default you can change the saturation of your monitor which you know, makes the colors pop a little bit I usually keep that around 170 for my specific monitor it might be lower it might be higher for yours so go ahead and tinker with that to your own like video keep default right here hotkeys um, change to whatever you want you can link um, an app on your phone to control your graphics card from remotely general okay this is where we see all our streaming settings I'll do a separate video for this but right here is this where you can change all your streaming and recording uh, settings I recommend not streaming with the AMD encoder if you have to you know, if you can encode with your Ryzen CPU it's much better but for recording it uses H.265 encoding which is HEVC it's perfectly fine for that someone say it's better then the NVIDIA option. Okay, now that you're back at the home screen, you want to go over to the performance tab, click tuning, and this is where you can mainly tune your graphics card. It'll be on default, um, under preset by default. Um, for testing purposes, I'm going to go ahead and add a game profile for you. Let's do Carl, let's do Devour. I don't play this much. Okay, now you can make individual profiles for games you play often. It'll say here automatic. You can do this, but I would not recommend it. Um, the only one I'm here I'd recommend is the uh, undervolt, but even then, it doesn't do it by much. You want to go over to click manual right here. What you want to do is all these will be unchecked. So it'll look like this. You want to check each individual one. And then you also want to check advanced control. Let me um, you can keep zero RPM fan on if you like. I usually have a custom fan curve. My card stays pretty cool. So uh, you can tune this to your liking. This is how I have it. Um, might not be the best for you. So whenever you go ahead and switch all these on, you want to go ahead and click Save Profile. Now first, you want to go down here, Power Tuning. Turn this all the way up, 15%, and click Apply. Now to VRAM tuning, you can some some cards can go all the way up to 2150, uh, depending on your silicon lottery. I usually keep mine in a modest like 2015, 2020, and that usually stays very stable for me. Um, you don't really gain much from overclocking the GDR6, which is already <coughs> tuned pretty high out of the out of the factory. So you can do that if you want. Um, make, also make sure you have fast timing on for the memory, and you'll be good to go. Click save. Now to the 
main part here, GPU tuning. Make sure, like I said, advanced control turned on. And then depending on your card as well, um, you can undervolt it to get your temps down. So by default it's 1150. I usually keep it at 1100. I can go lower, but this is where I like to be for stability purposes. Um, but I've seen people go as low as 950. It also depending on your silicon lottery there. So do 1100 for now. Keep it safe so it doesn't crash in the middle of the video. And then you want to make your, like I said earlier again, reiterating myself for the third time, advanced, control, advanced control turned on. This is where you can set the frequency range. So for gaming, um, you can have this at 500 if you'd like, the minimum frequency. But I like to have my, um, like some games, you know, go up and down with the frame rate. I like to keep it consistent at around 2400, 2450 range. Um, it's 100 lower than the max frequency because AMD won't allow you to go any higher than that with a minimum. It has to be 100, like between 100 there. So, And then you can also raise your max frequency. Um, if you're water cooled, you can probably get away with 2800 maybe. Um, probably 2750 on most cards. But for air cooled on a reference card, I usually stick around 2550, which is very solid for me. And then once you're done tuning that, make sure you click apply. And then if it doesn't crash right away, which it shouldn't, um, you might be good to go. I'd also recommend go going to stress test this card in a program like 3D Mark, um, Fire Strike, um, something like that, or uh, you know a demanding game you play that maxes out your GPU um, to the fullest and you can see if it crashes or not and that'll tell you if you have a stable overclock or not and then for this GPU I'd also recommend you not using it with a <laughs> low-end CPU to maximize this thing I play at 1440 and it a lot of games don't even get close to it so I'm definitely looking at a CPU upgrade here in the future now, if you guys liked the video, go ahead and click the like button. If you really liked it, click the subscribe button. I hope to help you out today, and I hope to see you guys next time.